In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to use the div tag. The basics of the div tag along with some CSS examples will be shown. The div tag can be used to divide an HTML document into sections. These sections then can be positioned and styled using CSS. We'll start by going to littlewebhut.com where we can test out some sample code. So we'll start out here in the browser and we'll type www.littlewebhut.com and then we'll click on the HTML menu and then we'll go down and click on the link for the div tag. This page has information about the div tag along with some example code. The first thing to look at is the syntax for the div tag. You'll notice that the div element starts with an opening div tag and a closing div tag. And then all of the content is placed between the opening and closing tags. Here we can see an example using the div tag. Here's the opening div tag, here's the closing div tag, and this is the content that's placed between the two div tags. Also note that we use the class attribute on the div tag here, and in this case it's set to main section. This class attribute, or the ID attribute, can be used to make a connection between the div tag and a CSS style. Above here, you'll see that I have styles defined in the head section. And notice that this main section right here matches the title that's used for the class down here, main section. This is what allows the style to be connected to this div tag. It's popular to create a separate file for the CSS styles, but in this case, I place them in the head section for easy reference. Let's go ahead and test this by pressing the Test It XHTML Style button. Let's start by seeing what this example does, just as is. So I'll press the View Results button, and here we see that we first have this sentence here says this text is not contained in a div element. And if we look up above here, this is where this was created using a paragraph tag. And then following it, this is where we had our div element right here. And between the opening and closing div tags, we had these three sentences here. And these sentences are displayed below here in a different color font, and the text is centered. This was accomplished in the CSS style that we had up here. Right here we had set the color and then following that we had text align and we set that to center. Both of these properties, the color and the text align property, were applied to everything that's between the opening and closing div tags. I'm now going to add another property to the CSS style here. And this property is going to be for the background color. And I'm going to set this to yellow. This will let us easily see the area that this div tag occupies. So I'm going to press the view results button again. And here we can see that this div tag occupies the full width of the available area. And now I'm going to add a second div tag with some content. And to make it easy, I'm just going to cut this section right here, this div tag, and I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to change the class name. Um, we'll just call this second. And now I need to go up here to the CSS style and do the same thing. So I'll copy this line and I need to rename it second. And let me change the background color here to green 
That way we can tell the difference between the two div sections. So let me go down here now and press the view results button. Notice that the text is a little hard to read here on this green background. So I'm going to go up and I'm going to change the color of the text to white. Now when I press the view results button, it should make it easier to read. Notice also when I change the text color to white, it changed the color of all the text that was placed between the opening and closing div tags. Something that we should notice here is that this second div section that's represented by the green color is located underneath the first div section that's represented by the yellow. This is because the div tag is a block level element which normally starts on a new line. We can change this behavior if we go up to the CSS style for the first div element and we add a float property and I'm going to set this to left. This tells the browser to float the first div element to the left side of the screen and allow the second div element to occupy the empty space on the right side of it. So let me press the view results button and now you can see that the two div sections are placed side by side. Another property that I can add to the CSS style is a width property. So let me do that. I'm going to add width and I'm going to set this to 500 pixels. And let's press the view results button. As you can see, the yellow section is now 500 pixels wide and the green section wraps around the outside of it. This is because I had told the yellow section to float to the left side. And when you do this, it allows text to wrap around the outside of it to the right. Using these background colors as I have done, setting yellow and green for background colors, is a good way to let you see the actual area that a div is occupying because sometimes it may not be obvious. So let's say now that I did not want this green section to wrap around the yellow section. So one way that I can prevent that is I can go back up to the CSS style for the second div element and I'm first I'm going to tell it to float to the left. But if I just do this alone, um, you'll see what happens if I press the View Results button. You'll see that the green section is now underneath the yellow section. And that's because the green section didn't have enough room to fit to the right side of the yellow section in the available space. So if I go back up here to the CSS style, and I also give it a width of, let's say, 100 pixels, then it should fit. And so I'll press the View Results button. And now you can see that the green section is located to the right side of the yellow section and the text does not flow around the yellow section. So this has been a basic introduction to the div tag. Note also that you can place div tags inside of other div tags to make more complex layouts. Thanks for watching this video and please leave a comment. Have a great day.